Uh, hi, I'm Jack Mankin of BatSpeed.com, and what we're looking at here is BatSpeed's new uh, rotational training aid, the Power Belt. Now, the Power Belt is designed to train batters to use the rotation of their body, their hips and their shoulders, to power the swing rather than the smaller muscles of the arms. Uh, before I discuss the features in the Power Belt, I'm going to use this batter swing to point out what we find common in all high-level swings. Uh, let's cycle him forward here. Notice that uh, once he starts rotating, that, that that elbow stays right with the back hip now all the way now to here to contact. And back him up again. Notice uh, the second thing is that the bend in the lead arm remains constant. It does not straighten out. Notice that this bend in the lead arm, it must stay at a bent angle, like a bent steel bar, uh, as he rotates to contact. Now, those are the two features that the power belt now is designed to reinforce. In other words, we want to keep this back elbow at the hip, and we want to keep this bend in the lead elbow constant all the way to contact. And also notice here, now the ball's gone, as you can see here, right there. The ball's already left the bat. And therefore, any extension of the arms uh, that occurs during the swing occurs after the b ball has left the bat. And therefore, the extension now of those arms had no effect whatsoever on ball exit speed or ball flight. Uh, so one of the features of the power belt is to keep this back elbow uh, back at the side during rotation. So uh, when a batter puts it on, he wants to make sure that the belt is adjusted so that this elbow is back at the middle of the body uh, in the launch position. And also, they shouldn't be thinking about uh, now trying to, to drive that the, the forearm here forward uh, uh, with the extension of that elbow. They should be concentrating on allowing the rotation of the body now to, to bring this forearm and hand around to contact. And the second thing you do is adjust this strap right here to whatever bend the, the batter finds most comfortable and, and likes to swing with. There's some that likes a little bit uh, straighter arm and some that likes more bend like Big Poppy and, and those type of hitters. And that's what this is. Now this has got Velcro up here so that you can adjust about the, the distance now um, here. But whatever it is, we want to make sure that as the batter rotates, in other words, that this bend in the elbow is going to remain constant. What I want to point out here, notice now that as he rotates for around, that the relationship of the, the arms changes very little. They pretty well maintain their, their, their position all the way now to contact. The only thing that really changes in this swing is, is the back forearm lowering down now to, to adjust to the swing plane. So now if you notice here, the back elbow stays back, the bend of the lead elbow and everything stays the same, and the only thing that we're seeing is the back forearm, this forearm here, lowering down to adjust to the height of the pitch. Now if the pitch uh, would have been lower down around the knees or something, the forearm would be pointing down in this direction. All right, and the other thing I want to point out here is that uh, if he was going to have a follow-through here, he wasn't just hitting the bag, and the arms would extend on out, this snap, this uh, could, uh, the ball's already been hit, so therefore had no effect on the ball flight or anything, and this would snap loose then, all right, and allow the arms to extend on out. Before we released the power belt, uh, we sent it to a few teams here in Southern California for their testing and evaluation, and here's some important points that uh, we learned that could really help players increase their power. Number one is keep those hands back and allow the rotation of those shoulders now to drive the arms around. Now, as you rotate, the rotation of those shoulders now is going to drive the back forearm forward and it's going to pull the lead uh, forearm rearward. Now notice that snap into the ball there. That's where the real power comes from. As the right arm is being pushed forward, we want that lead shoulder pulling the lead arm rearward. And that's the torque that really snaps the bat into the ball. Although this young hitter has really improved, uh, as we can see here, he still has a tendency to drive forward with those arms. And as he practices, though, he's going to learn to keep that back elbow back at his side and to think more about pulling on that lead shoulder, getting that more pull. Notice here that the uh, as he rotates, the, the uh, right forearm goes forward three or four inches. 
but the lead elbow is only pulled rearward about an inch or so. And like I said, the more he works with this, the more he'll, he'll keep that elbow back and think more now about pulling back with that lead shoulder. As these two young hitters have show, it is the natural tendency of most young hitters to use their arms rather than the rotation of their body now to swing the bat. And when the batter now fires those hands now to try to advance the, hand, the bat, it causes the lead arm to straighten out and the back elbow runs out away from the hip and then in toward the belly button. And once this occurs, the rotation of the body ceases and the batter winds up from that point on uh, basically with just the arms to power the swing. Uh, to help correct these problems, the power belt was designed, one, to keep the bend in the lead elbow constant, and second, to keep that back elbow at the hip at, uh, during rotation. And as you can see, uh, by keeping the arms in this position, it, it encourages the batter now to use more rotation rather than their arms to swing the bat. And as you can see here, uh, there's a lot more rotation of the body during this swing than what we saw earlier without the power belt. Young hitters, it's important to keep in mind that uh, they're mostly backside dominant, meaning that they rely too much on the back arm and don't use the lead arm efficiently in the swing. And in doing so, uh, notice how that lead arm drops down out of the swing plane. As you can see here, see where that arm is at contact there? Now it's highly important that that lead elbow stay up in the swing plane as the batter rotates. So let's look at that one more time. Notice that as they rotate, the lead elbow on these backside dominant hitters will tend to rotate downward like this. And they wind up in this position now at contact. And like I said, it's highly important that we keep that lead elbow up in the swing plane, which I'll, I think I'll show you a, a, a little animation here that will explain that uh, much better. Uh, this is an animated look at the swing plane. Uh, the swing plane is like a flat disc that's angled down to intercept the contact zone. And notice now that uh, right from initiation now, that the bat, the lead elbow, and all stay in that plane all the way through the swing. It's highly important to make consistent contact and develop maximum power to the swing that that lead elbow stay up in that plane as shown here. Uh, to point out just how important it is to get that lead shoulder to pull back uh, at contact to generate power, I'm going to show you a couple of uh, College World Series hitters that hit balls out of the new Ameritrade Stadium. Now that stadium is about 420 feet deep at center and you've got a prevailing wind blowing in. And so therefore there's only been about eight home runs in two World Series hit out because you really got to generate a lot of ball exit speed. Now here I've rotated him forward uh, here to this point. Now I put a dot on his elbow. Now I want you to look, as that bat uh, swings around cord contact, look how far back that the lead elbow is pulled. Back to there, here, there, and then into contact. Now notice here that as he's approaching contact, that back arm is still now back here at his side. It has not extended. But yet, as those hips and shoulders rotate, it's driving this forearm forward. And then that pullback that we see here, that lead pulling that knob back to, in this direction, is what really snaps that ball, that bat into the ball. Yeah, it's that push-pull action at contact that generates a lot of ball exit speed. Uh, now here's a left-hander uh, uh, hitting one of the eight balls out. Now I'm not going to put dots on him this time, just let you take a look at the rotation here. All right, now we're cycling forward to about that same point. Now watch the pullback of that lead side as he comes into contact. And also notice now that that back, his uh, back arm is still back at his side. He has not extended it. All right, so once again, it's it's the uh, shoulders driving that uh, his left forearm forward as his right shoulder is pulling that uh, knob back. Now that, once again, is what really creates a lot of ball exit speed. 
Well, here's a young hitter uh, practicing a drill we found very helpful in helping young hitters uh, increase their power. Now, he's being instructed now not to think about driving the back arm forward, but think about getting the lead shoulder pulled back. So I'm going to bring him on down here now to contact. Now, notice right here, he's just going to let that bat slide right out of his hand. He's not even going to extend that arm at all. Now, the ball here at contact is already gone, and so uh, this has no uh, effect whatsoever on ball exit speed. But what it's training him to do, like I said, is he comes down here now, think about getting that lead shoulder to pull back instead of extending the right arm, so he never extends it at all. And we found that this really helped a, a lot of players really increase their power numbers. Well, that concludes the video. And I think you'll find, as we did, that the more a player practices with the power belt, the more they'll learn to uh, use the powerful rotation of their body rather than the extension of their arms to uh, swing the bat. And I hope this all helps, and I hope everybody has a, has a great coming season.